Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to install a PCI serial card. Uh, we're also going to drop some things on the floor there, but it also applies to PCI wireless cards, uh, PCI video cards, and things like that. But as of lately, I've noticed that a lot of the uh, PCI stuff is becoming more extinct and it's kind of went towards USB and uh, PCI Express but this computer here about four years old it's a Dell Vostro 200 and I'm going to show you how to put a card in it. First thing we're going to do is take the thumb screws off drop them on the floor Grab a hold of this handle right here. Slide. Case comes right off. Or I should say the cover. Now as you can see here we got the PCI slots and uh, AGP slot. The first thing you want to do take a single screw out. And remove this bracket. It's a retaining bracket for all the cards and be careful because those edges are sharp. It's a retaining, as I was saying, it's a retaining bracket for all the cards that you put in here and even the spacers that you drop on the floor. So we're going to go ahead and install this. Now before you install it you want to look at your contacts here. Make sure they're, you know, clean. You don't want to touch them. You want to hold the card gently. We're going to put this one in the bottom slot. A little tricky to line this one up here. Okay. You kind of got to, when you're putting it in there, you kind of got to insert this part first, tilt it, and lean this in because it actually protrudes through this hole here. And just be careful because uh, there are components on the board, capacitors and, and other things that you don't want to damage. But you want to stabilize it with this finger here and uh, find a good place to push on the card and gently push in. You'll hear it click or thud like that. Just very gently go around the card. Make sure it's firmly in place. Then you can go ahead. I got more cards to install in here, so I'm gonna put those spacers in later. But this clips into place, like so. Screw goes in. Don't over tighten it. Just when you put these covers on, there's little clips like this. Just want to make sure they line up and hook in. The older Dell cases, they used to be a problem, but these newer ones seems easy. Okay, next step after your card's installed, go ahead and plug your computer back in. Turn it on. Hopefully you can see the screen there. It's going to go ahead and boot up. Let's adjust the camera a little bit there. That's good. And uh, maybe I'll edit this out or not. But when this boots up, it should uh, you should see one of two things: Windows has uh, detected new hardware and is installing drivers or window has detected, Windows has detected new hardware, please insert the disk or something of that nature. And this card is probably going to ask me for the drivers. In that case, 
I have my, my flash drive. Let's see if it pops up. Or it may not. It may install it itself. And another possibility, it could show nothing. There we are. Right there. There. And there's the window I was talking about. Found new hardware. Windows will search for drivers. So I tell it. Don't search online. Install the software automatically. Cannot find it. Okay, so I got the latest drivers from the manufacturer. Put your flash drive in. Click back. Install from a specific location. We're going to go in here into the flash drive. And let's see, where did I put it? I believe this is, is this it? This is either the, yeah, serial parallel card. So we're going to include in search. Go over here, pick your flash drive, pick the folder the driver's in. Hit OK. Hit next. This is not past Windows XP compatibility and testing. Continue anyway. And it's going to sit there and install the drivers. The wizard has finished installing these drivers. Windows search for drivers. Click next. PCI serial port, PCI serial port 1. Install software automatically. Nope. Install from a specific location. Go back to the folder. Search. Has not passed the Windows logo testing. Continue anyway. It's all normal. Hit finish. This can happen multiple times or happen once. Looks like it's going to happen again. No? Hardware is installed and ready to use down on that side of the screen. Okay. I'm going to confirm it. We're going to go to control panel, uh, system, hardware, device manager. Let's see. Multifunction adapters. There we go. PCI serial port. COM3. And that's what we got. You want to make sure that it's not here under S, where it's saying SM bus controller. And uh, that card is installed successfully. Go ahead and shut the machine down and on to step number two.